This way we can all continue the journey. All right. Super ultra courageous braves, fall out. I hate everything. W what is that? Huh? That's our guild's name. Please tell him, tell him it's stupid and it needs to be changed. Please, I beg of you. We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. Oh, thank you for having an IQ above, like, seven, which Carol sorely lacks. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia? I... that's right. I remember now that they just call it Brave Vesperia. That's good. All I can live with this. It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. The brightest star. Cool. Brave Vesperia. Hmm. Huh. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it. Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat. We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier. Didn't you want to take a break at Halyard? Ah, uh, who needs it? Either way, we can't get to Torum without passing through Halyard. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. All right, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia, fall out! Oh. All right, Carol has earned the Brave Vesperia leader title, not bad. Good plan to go check on the broken Blastia in uh, Heliord while taking the woman who broke the Blastia in the first place. Do, do, do. Thank goodness the name was changed to Brave Vesperia. I would have lost my mind. This might be like the only Tales game that uses its title in game that I'm aware of that I've played. Also, we should do the skip before I forget about it. Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Well, it's not like I'll be doing it all on my own. Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've been thinking about it myself for a while now, too. I quit the Knights to find my own way of doing things, but I hadn't done anything. What Flynn said to you back in the port town, that got to you, didn't it? Nothing that guy says could get to me. He doesn't like to admit his feelings, does he? No. Yeah, well, you know, he's a guy. It happens. Let's go, boys. Thank goodness the name is Brave Asperia. I would have lost my mind. Otherwise. Oh my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe Huh? What's wrong? I kinda cut Carol off a little bit there because my finger twitched. I apologized, but I mean you know, I cut off him saying maybe, big deal. In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh. Interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well, come on, we should hurry to the inn. What a guy, that Yuri. The guild's purpose. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache. I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. You know, get like about 10 people. 
10 really good, strong people. It'll work out. Something along those lines. Like uh, Shindobado from Magi. It's basically him and then his eight generals. They do more than enough. Save up real quick. We had such a full party for such a short while. We still got five people now. We've only gone down by like three overall or two overall. Not bad. Did I, uh... It's still not done, huh? And you're almost done with medical boost too. Nice. Anything here? Nope. Still earning experience share. And then we'll move you over to the halberd. Alright, not bad, not bad. Wait, do I need to, like, rest at the end? Welcome, would you like to stay? Yeah, whatever. Last time we were here, uh, Judith attacked us. Just throwing that out there. I guess I can't let things go either. All these people really sleep in the exact same clothes that they wear during the day, huh? Don't even, like, take off your shirt or anything or your shoes. It's pretty wild. Where on earth am I going? Over here, I assume. Is it uh, Judith that we're going towards, I, I'm guessing? I don't know who else would have caught our attention that could be here right now. Unless it's like uh, Raven or Rita. Not over here. Where do I need to go? Maybe I need to go on here, actually. No. Unless there's someone back here. Did I accidentally walk past someone that I could have talked to? Maybe I, maybe Judith was just standing around and I had to interact with her, but I accidentally walked by. Because I didn't see Judith in the room, did I? I saw Carol and Estelle both sleeping, and I saw Rapide. But I don't think I saw Judith. I don't know who else I'd be meeting with right now. Oh yeah, Judith. I just went the exact wrong way. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Baul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between... Him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. The strange ones make for the best main characters, you know? That's how it normally goes down. Well, shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Alright, a new journey! Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey! This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. 
I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment, too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. I know, I know. Well, let's get it, boys. I think we have, like, a little mini dungeon area to do next, actually, here in Heliord, if I'm not mistaken. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Miss Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where is your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. I'm gonna press X to doubt on that one. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Cumor gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. You saw the way that guy looks and thought that he was trustworthy? Some people, man. Some people. Cumor? From the Imperial Knights? No, the other Cumor. Yeah, who else has that name? Yes, he is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? You got bamboozled, son. Is father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well, okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. Then if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The Knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful! Alright, so first of all, our bank account is just going to be full of a bunch of little papers that say IOU on them, and 90% of them are going to be from Estelle. Second of all... I forgot what I was going to say secondly. Couldn't have been that important then. Hello! I'd like to get through here. I'd like to pass if I could. Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborer's camp ahead is too dangerous. I remember the other thing I was going to say. When Carol said a guild like us would be squashed out or whatever by the knights, excuse you, I have main character powers. I'll make it work. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? 
I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. No, I won't allow it. All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what you're trying to get at now, Carol. Well then. <laughs> I think I chose Carol in my original playthrough too. But man, I can't not. <laughs> I can't not. I mean, the, the obvious correct choice here is easily Judith. But like, come on, man. Carol should be good for the job. What? What are you talking about? Why me? If you want to be a nerd who thinks that you can be the big boss and all that, then you got to do the stupid jobs that you cause yourself. That sounds good to me. <laughs> so you're in on the joke too, Judith? No, I'm not really one for jokes. Huh? Okay, let's go. You gotta believe in yourself, Carol. When a lady struts her stuff, she does it with pizzazz. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, there's still time, you guys. How about someone else seduce the guard? When a man makes up his mind, he's gotta see it through to the end. And this is a guild job as well. Don't forget, all for the guild. Oh, that is so twisting the guild's laws. Carol, you'll be fine. You'll be the cutest little thing that night has ever seen. Being the cutest anything has never been one of my life goals. <laughs> hey, you there, no loitering. Now move along. Wait a minute, how do I do this? I... Yeah, talk. Wait a minute, how did... What do I need to do here? How do I, like, trigger this event? Labor is becoming more and more difficult lately. Uh, that's, that's rough, buddy. What am I... I have to, like, go in here? Do I have to go to the HQ first? Or... The inn, maybe? Hey. Alright, whatever. Well... I don't know how to, like, trigger this thing to start. Maybe I need to go to the inn? I have no idea. Why don't these guys have their swords out? This is very threatening. Who do they think they are? Well, no, I don't need to go in here, it seems. Where on earth do I go to get this to start? Good question, me. I have no idea. Is there something I need to interact with, like, over here? Talk to you. Something fishy. Where'd everyone go? What the heck is the problem here? I'm very confused. Very confused. What needs to... What do I need to do? Hey, you... This is the rising city of Heliord, but lately the residents have been disappearing. Okay, yeah, I, I'm very confused. Torvis just said, let's search this place some more before moving on. Uh, what do I... Game... This is pretty stupid. I don't remember having trouble with this when I played the game before, and I definitely got past this point. Need to, like, go along the edge here? This seems really random. on earth surely I don't need to talk to one of these nerds like this guy or the one on the other side our ideals just that simply ideals people got tired and left the city it's a little philosophical of you isn't it can I go out this way I can it seems this doesn't accomplish anything what is the deal here I am very, very confuzzled. I have, like, no idea what I'm trying to do here. Like, what needs to be done to progress? Surely- wait a minute. Surely not 
I have to, like, make Carol the, uh, the person who's walking around? Because you can do that, can't you? Like, Yuri has the little flag on him right now. Can't I change the flag to someone else? With a certain button combination that I can't think of? Maybe not. I know in some Tales games you can change who the overworld walking person is even if they aren't in your thing. What if I put you to number one? No, it still has Yuri as the walking person. There's gotta be a way to change that. Not the R buttons. Not the directional buttons, obviously. Triangle, square, X, circle, no. L2, R2, L1, R1, no. The touchpad. I think I've gone through literally every button in the game just now. Or on the controller. I'm super confused. Status, maybe? Can I, like, make any of you the, uh, person that I walk around as? Dude, Repeat looks so sick. Like, he looks awesome. Estelle, you know, she she's, like, cracking her fingers is a little weird, but hers is fine. Yuri's is pretty, you know, nonchalant, awesome. Carol's is very happy-go-lucky, really fits him. You, you know, Judith, she's Judith. Always looking good. Uh, I'm super incredibly confused and have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Game, can you give me, like, literally any direction at all? You're really not gonna, you're not gonna give me anything to go off of here, huh? What on earth am I supposed to do? <laughs> 